Yeah, I, I like this. I like it a whole lot. But is there any way we can open up this this area a little bit more? This wall isn't load bearing, so we could definitely move it. But then we'd have to reconfigure the candy counter, make mm -hmm. it into an L. Hmm. I don't know. It's just it's kind of hard to see by just looking at it on this paper here. I... I'd like to see it in person. I just finished a restaurant with a similar layout. We could go, check it out, maybe grab some dinner. Yeah, that that sounds great. That sounds great. I'll um I'll check with Tad and, and see when he's free. Right. Okay. Well, let me know. Okay, great. Okay, well thanks. Rob, I appreciate it. See you ladies later. Toodles. What? A little piece of advice. The next time a big burly man with buns of steel asks you out to dinner, the answer is a head bobbing yes. And you sure as heck don't go inviting your ex to tag along. He wasn't asking me out. Hey, Uncle. I may be out of the loop, but I know a pickup line when I hear one. Well, then you need to get your ears checked. Honey, he was all over you. But you were too busy bringing up Tad to even notice. Well, that's because Tad has been helping me with this. I mean, come on. Your, your son puts candy bars on his cereal. Who better to give me input on dessert, huh? So, what? Is that all that's going on? The two of you live together, you raise your children together, you may be going to business together. But uh, that's where the buck stops, huh? That's it, in a nutshell. Uh-huh. So how are those nuts working out for you? Um, I thought a clean slate would be best for everyone. Mm -hmm. So uh, what changed your mind? Um, uh, Bailey's uh, parents won't help her. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, so I, I figured why leave Pine Valley when she has a built-in support system? You figured. Look, yeah. we're not expecting you to support us or anything, okay? I've already got a job. Yeah, and we're gonna get our own place. Of course. Right. Mm-hmm. Mom, uh, uh, tell Bailey this is what you want. It doesn't matter what I want here. What matters is what's best for Stuart and Bailey. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Stuart, I mean, close by. Isn't that what's best for everyone? The temptation was always there, you know. Never thought we'd act on it. Did you actually... No. No, we just kissed. Not that that makes it okay, but it wasn't an affair. That's good. I know you find this hard to believe given what I just told you, but Annie loves my uncle, and I love him too. I would never do anything to intentionally hurt him. I know. That's why I decided to go back to Chicago. What, to put distance between you and Annie? Yeah. Oh, you're still here. Not that I want this for her, believe me, but at the time, I figured that she'd be going back to prison. And now she's not? Look, Liza is good, Scott, but even she can't work miracles. Annie is not coming back to this house anytime soon. Trust me. It's not you I don't trust. The moment I pulled that trigger, my entire life descended into darkness, and Annie saved me. No, no, no Adam, she, she didn't. She used you to get free. No, maybe at get... first. Maybe at first. But no, we fell in love, and I'm not going to apologize for that. I, I don't want an apology. Adam, I just want you to see the truth, that's all. The truth is that Stuart had to die so I could, I could come to life. <laughs> now, if you figure out how you, can, uh, you could work with that, let me know. Because the only, thing I can, only truth I can find is that I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to find some kind of comfort in this. Comfort? In Annie? Yes. 
Yes, and, and in addition to the something good coming out of that horrible night. Good. Are you serious? Good for who? For me. Well, that's just great. What about your kids? What about your grandson? My family means the world to me. Now, Annie means the world to you. Luckily, they're the same thing. If I, if I turned my back on Annie now, Stuart would have died for nothing. No, no, if you stay with her, Stuart will turn over in his grave. Adam, come on, you gotta be able to see this. Annie's not some beacon of light. You don't need her to get on with your life. It's not a question of needing her. I want her. At the expense of your own kids. That is incredibly sad. <laughs>